The future has already arrived in China. The Chinese robotics manufacturer UB Tech has released new footage showcasing the work process of dozens of industrial robots, Walker S1, at the factories of the country's largest automobile manufacturers. As we know, humanoid robots had already begun training in factories including BYD. Walker S1, with a height of 172 centimeters and a weight of 76 kilograms, is capable of carrying boxes, tightening screws, assembling and sorting parts. Today, 70% of all tasks in automated production are performed by robotic manipulators. UB Tech plans to automate an additional 20% of processes using robotic humanoids. In this case, only 10% of tasks will remain for humans, primarily involving coordination and tool management. In the face of a shortage of skilled workers, humanoid robots can reduce dependence on human labor in manufacturing. For the first time, a robot of this type has been integrated into a unified system with unmanned transport vehicles and intelligent production management systems. In addition to BYD, the company's clients in the automotive industry include the state-owned Dongfeng Motor, the FAW Volkswagen joint venture, and Geely. The company Reflex Robotics continues to improve its robotic humanoid. Recently, it was revealed that their latest model can learn new tasks in just 60 minutes, simply by observing employees' actions. One of the main advantages of this robot is its affordability. Its cost is 20 times lower compared to similar solutions on the market. Thanks to built-in machine learning algorithms, the robot can quickly adapt to new conditions and become fully autonomous in just one hour. Reflex is equipped with a mobile wheeled base and manipulators with sensors, allowing it to work efficiently in confined spaces and interact with objects at different heights. Currently, Reflex humanoid robots are undergoing testing in warehouses and logistics centers, demonstrating their effectiveness in performing various tasks. The Chinese company Topsino, which creates robotic dolls designed to replace women, has introduced a new universal robot that is almost indistinguishable from a living person. This model of robotic dolls is created with high detailing and is intended for various purposes, including companionship, art, photography, and educational demonstrations. The robots are made from high-quality silicone, providing a realistic skin texture and durability. Their anatomy is designed with high precision, making them visually very similar to real people. The sizes of the female robots vary depending on the model. Options are available with a height ranging from 153 centimeters to 169 centimeters and different body types. Buyers can also choose individual parameters such as eye color, hairstyle, makeup, and other appearance features. One of the brand's key features is the RRS Plus technology, which ensures even more detailed skin texture and realistic makeup. Some Topsino models also have reinforced joints, making them even more stable when changing poses. The price depends on the model and selected options. On average, the cost of a doll starts at $1,800 and can reach $4,500 for models with extended capabilities. The Japanese are also keeping up with their Chinese counterparts, developing their own version of a robot that could eventually replace women for lonely men. One such robot doll is the Type model. It is made of high-quality silicone, providing a realistic skin texture. The robot's skeleton consists of a metal frame with joints, allowing it to be posed in various positions. Its height reaches up to 170 centimeters, and its weight is up to 50 kilograms. These robots can serve as companions for people seeking an alternative to traditional relationships or experiencing loneliness. The cost of such robots depends on the manufacturer, materials, and level of detail. The prices range from $1,500 to $5,000 or more. New Zealand musician Nigel Stanford has released a video that has taken the internet by storm, featuring industrial robots performing a musical composition. The video explores the interaction between technology and music, showcasing how robots can become part of the creative process. At the beginning of the video, Industrial robots from KUKA Robotics start playing various musical instruments. One robot uses drumsticks for precise and rhythmic drumming, another plays the piano keys with the right amount of force and speed, while yet another controls a bass guitar using a pick to produce sound. As the composition progresses, 
the robots begin to go out of control, destroying the instruments and the stage with lasers and mechanical manipulations, symbolizing their rebellion against human control. Automatica has become one of the most well-known videos demonstrating the integration of industrial robots into the creative process. It has gained widespread recognition for its innovative approach, inspiring both musicians and engineers to explore new possibilities for human-machine interaction in the arts. Canadian company Canova Robotics has developed the robotic arm Jocko, to provide people with limited upper limb mobility greater freedom and independence. This high-tech mechanical arm allows users to perform everyday tasks, from picking up objects to opening doors and interacting with their surroundings. Made from lightweight and durable carbon fiber, Jocko features six interconnected segments and a three-fingered gripper, mimicking the functionality of a human hand. Its design with six degrees of freedom ensures smooth movements and high precision. The arm can be mounted on power wheelchairs and integrated with their battery, allowing users to control it via a joystick or other interfaces. The Jocko arm has a reach of 90 centimeters and can lift objects weighing up to one and a half kilograms. It is capable of performing up to 16 different movements, making it highly versatile. Waiters in restaurants and cafes may take a back seat very soon, as robots are increasingly taking over their jobs. The American company Bear Robotics has introduced the autonomous waiter robot named Servi, designed to assist in the service industry, particularly in restaurants and cafes. Servi is equipped with two trays and one compartment for collecting dishes, allowing it to efficiently transport meals and beverages. Thanks to the use of LiDAR sensors and multiple cameras, Servi has 100% autonomy in movement. It can safely and accurately navigate narrow spaces as small as 52 centimeters in width. The robot can operate for 10 to 12 hours without recharging, carrying up to 30 kilograms of cargo at a time. For convenient interaction, Servi is equipped with a 7-inch touchscreen and supports control via a mobile application. It can be used not only for delivering meals but also for collecting dirty dishes, significantly reducing the workload on staff. Engineers from the company Atonaton have developed Mimus, a giant industrial robot that exhibits curiosity about the world around it. Unlike traditional industrial robotic machines, Mimus is not programmed to perform predetermined movements. Instead, it freely explores its environment, responding to people and objects nearby. Mimus does not have eyes, but it uses sensors embedded in the ceiling to see everyone around it simultaneously. If the robot finds you interesting, it may approach and follow you. However, its attention is short-lived. If you remain still for too long, Mimus will lose interest and shift its focus to someone else. The developers aim to create a robot that does not simply perform programmed tasks, but instead demonstrates its own behavior based on interaction with its surroundings. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video you liked the most. Don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.